Welcome to Apex Philosophy, the perfect place to find motivation. Be sure to subscribe and listen every day so you can become your best self. Please like and share the video to help inspire others. Discipline equals freedom. Time is a finite thing. It is limited. It is going down by the second. And once it's gone, you have lost it forever. How can you make the most of that time? How can you ensure that you are pushing hard towards your goals and getting them done? Your mind has to seek discomfort. If you want to succeed, you have to be constantly challenging yourself, constantly trying to push yourself mentally and physically to go where you haven't before. Your mind has to seek these difficult challenges and not only that, but it has to enjoy them. You have to make your mind think this is the best thing ever because that will be the only thing to motivate you to the next level. Your mind has to believe that it has to complete this difficult task. There is no giving in and there is no plan B. By enjoying doing seemingly gruelling tasks, you are motivating yourself to break past the hardest stage and move on to an area of growth. The best way to motivate and condition your mind to think this way is to force yourself to adhere to a schedule. Take going to the gym as an example. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, you go to the gym. You follow that religiously and work out as hard as you can in that time. Enjoy the time off on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Following this discipline will only make you appreciate those moments of relaxation even more. It becomes a reward and incentive to keep going. It motivates you to work harder during those three days. A schedule disciplines you. It guides you on the path to success. You then build on that schedule every day. You force yourself to go further. You may be doing 10 push-ups a day and once you can do that, up it to 20 every single day and so on. Even if it takes you all day to do something like 200 push-ups and you need to take breaks and do 10 every hour, whatever you have to do to reach that target, you must do it. Sticking to that schedule and following it teaches you discipline and motivates you to go further. This doesn't just go for exercise. Have a schedule for everything you want to complete in a day. Break it up into small tasks which are easy to complete as it gives you that dopamine rush that makes you want to go and do the next task and the next until before long you have completed your list. You are motivated by a series of successes that eventually builds up into a successful day. The problem most people face on a day-to-day -day basis is that they don't have a name. They don't know what they're going to do, so they just do something for the sake of it. They may go and jump rope for a bit or go on the treadmill, and they aren't doing it with any real conviction or motivation. This is why people need personal trainers. They need someone to be that person to tell them what to do to set out what exercise you are doing and for how long. They rely on other people to give them an aim. What people don't realize is they can tell themselves what to do. It's far more effective than a personal trainer and a lot cheaper as well. Work out from home if you need to. Load up a YouTube video and do sit-ups until your abs hurt. Hold a plank until you can't hold it for any longer and then hold it for 20 seconds longer. Make it as brutal as if someone was telling you what to do, even if it takes all day. You have to be able to motivate yourself to do this. When it comes to real life, you can't have a personal trainer telling you what decisions you will make in life. There is nobody there forcing you to get up and start that business or start that side hustle. You have to tell yourself to do it. 
and you have to be your own personal trainer. This is the way to succeed. As soon as you realize that you can create your own aims and your own goals in life and make the steps to actually do them, you become unstoppable. Life is too short to half-ass things. It is too short to not care about the things you are doing. If you get into something, give it your all. You have to do whatever you can to make sure you are constantly working towards the things you care about. And if you are doing something you don't care about and it isn't helping you, stop doing it. It's not helping you and it is just wasting your time. Your time on this planet is limited and you shouldn't be wasting your time on stuff that isn't motivating you to be the best you can possibly be. Insanity and greatness are next door neighbours and borrow each other's sugar. There's something about wanting to be great that requires you to be almost insane about it. You have to want it so bad that it hurts. You have to want it so bad that you can't think of nothing else but that idea of greatness. You have to envision it until it drives you insane. There is something about mastery, true mastery, that requires you to shut off massive areas of your life. Some see that as insanity. To make such great sacrifices for a better future. Most people don't understand that. People are too scared to dedicate themselves and they are scared of the process and are scared of failure. There is too much doubt. They don't know whether they should force themselves to take action or not. They don't realize that once you start the process and start applying yourself, it becomes so much easier. You have broken past the biggest and hardest hurdle. Once you start, there is no questioning yourself anymore. You no longer say, I don't know if I can do it, because you've now started and you know that you have what it takes to do it. You get so much more out of a struggle you have chosen rather than a struggle that society has forced onto you. With a struggle you have chosen, you are in control of the terms and the stakes and you are prepared to take it on. Get out there and do something because the hardest part is starting. You may fail and being honest, you probably will fail at least once, probably a few times. Every single time you fail, you will question whether you should continue, whether all of this is worth it. And you have to squash that doubt and keep trying or try a different route. As long as you don't give up, that's all that matters. You may fail, but at least you tried. And that means something. Most don't even try. People confuse discipline with focus. Some people can excel at things because they are focused and they are passionate about the work they are doing. That passion allows them to fixate on what they really care about. Doing something you hate, but still doing it regardless, is disciplined. Working at a till part-time, even though you hate it, is a discipline. Fighting against something you resent or find gruelling is the discipline. Whereas focus comes from the things you love. The more you choose to venture into physical and mental struggles, the stronger you become. You can give up at any point, but you shouldn't. Perseverance is strength. Discipline yourself to suffer so that when you get to the things you love, you can be focused and dedicated. You can commit your all to the things you care about because of the pain you put yourself through before that.
Most people never learn to move past this. They never learn about dedication, discipline or focus. They don't know that success is directly correlated with effort. They want everything handed to them on a silver plate where it is only the educated few who truly understand the true journey of success. Children should do sports from a young age because it teaches them early on in life the confidence to go out there and achieve what they want to in life. It gives them the knowledge that they can do something that they find difficult and challenging and overcome it. They know the true value of dedication and the true meaning of success. Some days you will suck. Some days you will just be terrible. And that can be so motivational. That is the bright side of tragedy. When you fail, you appreciate the moments in life where you didn't fail and where you didn't struggle. You won't feel these glimmering moments unless life burns you. Unless you get beaten up, chewed up and spit out by life, you won't feel that. Isn't it glorious? Embrace failure just as much as you embrace success. People have a hard time defining themselves. They define themselves by their failures. You are not your failures. You are you. Everything in life is a lesson. You can choose to learn from that lesson or accept defeat. What would you do differently? If you dwell on failures, you are undermining and hurting yourself and the creative process. It is not healthy to dwell on your failures. It is not smart, nor is it productive. It is only setting you back. You could do something stupid, but that isn't you. Now, if you continue to make the same stupid mistake over and over again without attempting to fix it, then you are a lost cause because you are not trying to better yourself. If you know you have messed up and make the effort to change that, then that is all that matters. You have adapted to failure, learned from it, and pushed yourself to change for the better. That is positive. However, if you are not recognizing your faults, then you have deeper issues involved. People experience failure on a daily basis and you learn from it. Your failures don't define you. How you adapt to them does. Building up the ability to endure things is a very important mechanism to have. It stops you from giving up when things start to get tough and instead forces you to push through and conquer any challenges that you may come across. You apply this mechanism to your everyday life. In everything you do, this mechanism is always there. So developing it to be as strong as it can be is vital. Discipline equals freedom are words to live by. It is so easy to get distracted, but distractions lead to procrastination. Procrastination is the enemy of progress. It kills motivation and kills your dreams. If you can discipline yourself to avoid and ignore these distractions, you can take on anything. No breaks, no tangents, no obstacles. It will free you. It will make you strong. Teach yourself discipline and enjoy the reward of freedom. Freedom to focus on achieving success and then after that, freedom to enjoy that success. It is easy to get distracted, but when you are distracted, you are limiting your thought process. It is only through focus that you can properly think and visualize your goals. Don't think of yourself as the person who made mistakes. Think of them as opportunities to learn 
and define yourself based on your growth from there. To be successful, you need to get it done. You need to take control of your life and command yourself to be disciplined and focused to achieve your goals. You need to avoid distractions and not let failure define you, but grow from it and learn from it. Are you willing to do what it takes? Thank you for listening. Comment below. What can you start doing today to start to improve your discipline? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and we'll see you next time.